You think you have the perfect solution to the world's COVID-19 crisis? Now, a consortium of higher education institutions is challenging student designers and engineers to create a ventilator as the country continues to battle the coronavirus pandemic. Well, the Mahlali Innovation Consortium, an alliance of five higher education institutions, has announced an eight-week hackathon. Energy, Environment and Technology Station spokesperson Dottie Lailam joins me to tell us more about this. Thank you so much for your time, uh, Ms. Lailam, and it's good to have you this morning. I think this is one of those important initiatives, as opposed to get everyone involved in trying to resolve what we're going through. So I suppose my question to you is uh, just explaining to us, um, you know, the vision and the aim behind having this eight-week-long hackathon. Um, well, it was... The consortium was formed in response to a request from Masita, and um, so it's the five higher education institutions, and um, Masita asked us to um, see if we can get student engineers to gain practical skills and increase their knowledge to have a locally manufactured medical devices in South Africa. This then presented an opportunity for us to get ideas from students nationally and host a competition for them to enter their ideas because there's so many untapped um, ideas and students don't know where to start, yeah. where to present them generally. And um, this seemed like a good idea to then host a student um, design competition via the consortium. Right. And um, yeah, and then thereby exposing them to the complete product development value chain, starting from concept mm. and then um, through to prototype development and manufacturing and commercialization in South Africa. Yeah, so uh, what I'm listening to you speak, I'm hearing that it seems a win-win situation. Here you have, you know, engineering students coming to gain skills, gain some experience, insight into a profession they're interested in pursuing. But on the other hand, they too are offering a potential solution to our ventilator crisis here. So take us through then briefly, how will this eight week hackathon, um, you know, process go? What exactly happens during the entire eight weeks? Um, so we've got a campaign out at the moment um, across the universities. Um, it started nationally or will be starting nationally um, for call for entries on Monday with various radio campaigns and, of course, now through the media awareness. And um, entrants can enter via the Mishlale um, website. So the ideas will be received there, collated and assessed. And um, if they have any questions or guidance needed, they can then post those questions via the entry form and the website address. Mm. And um, there is an info email address, and then all that will be assessed and um, the students can ask any questions there. All right, so that's the application so, process then. And, and while you're still answering that, then who's eligible to enter and when is the closing date? Um, all South African student, students with an active registered student number mm. um, at an institution can enter. And it can be any um, idea. There are three different categories. And um, the closing date is the 14th of June. All right. In return, I mean, yes, I did mention that there would be, you know, obviously skills development and insight into the job. But overall, what does then the uh, winner get out of this competition? Um, there is a gift voucher for three um, in the three categories. So three people from each category stands to win a gift voucher. And in addition, um, there is a wonderful 3D printer up as a prize as well, sponsored by one of the 3D printing companies. All right, then we leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us and all the best, I suppose, to all the students that will be applying. That is Dottie Lelem joining us, the Energy, Environment and Technology Station spokesperson.